Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to recapping the first season of Sweet Combat. In the opening scene, we meet Fang Yu, the state's top female MMA fighter, who has quickly risen to fame with an undefeated record. A recent major victory has made her a media sensation. In a flashback, we see her defy her wealthy businessman grandfather's wishes by choosing a career in fighting instead of the family business, much to his disappointment. Meanwhile, Ming Tian lives in Macau, taking care of his two younger siblings after their mother abandoned them and their father passed away. His brother idolizes Fang Yu, calling her the queen of MMA. Ming Tian dropped out of college to work as a delivery boy and dreams of returning to school with a scholarship. One day, he is tasked with delivering food to a martial arts teacher under tight time pressure. His incredible sense of direction helps him navigate the city swiftly, but on the way, he stops to help a street vendor struggling with her fallen fruits, causing her cart to roll away down the street. Fang Yu unintentionally breaks a street vendor's cart with a powerful kick, and instead of apologizing, hands over a bundle of money and walks away. Ming Tian, frustrated by her rude behavior, continues on his delivery. Fang Yu then seeks guidance from her former martial arts teacher, hoping he can help her decide whether to quit MMA and join the family business. However, the teacher refuses to make the decision for her, insisting it's hers to make. Just as Ming Tian arrives with the food, it turns out the teacher is the one who ordered it. The two lock eyes but don't exchange words before parting ways. Later, Ming Tian receives an email offering him a 70% scholarship to a college out of state, leaving him conflicted between pursuing his education or staying in Macau to care for his siblings. Meanwhile, Fang Yu is also at a crossroads wondering if she should follow her passion for fighting or give in to family pressure. Both find themselves at a wisdom fountain, asking the universe for guidance. In the end, Fang Yu resolves to continue her MMA career, while Ming Tian decides to move and pursue his education. His boss helps him relocate and secures him a job as a delivery driver in the new city. He even offers Ming Tian money and resources if he needs them. Ming Tian and his siblings settle into a new home in a modest neighborhood. The kids love it, and he proudly places a picture of his late boxing master as the first decoration. He takes the kids to school, starts his new job at KFC, and finally attends Zhongzhi College, the best sports school in the state, which recently opened its doors to male students. To his surprise, Ming Tian appears to be the only guy among hundreds of girls. The girls are intrigued by him, especially because he's handsome. He meets Xiaomi, a tomboyish student, and mistakes her for a guy before realizing his error. Meanwhile, the college president and Mr. Wang are anxious, as all the other male students transferred out. They see Ming Tian as the key to expanding the college's reputation and plan to keep him happy to prevent him from leaving. Outside, Ming Tian is overwhelmed by the girls flocking around him, offering unnecessary help. An argument breaks out between one girl and Xiao Mi over who should escort him to the principal's office. He cleverly escapes by tricking them into looking away. While running, he bumps into Fang Yu, recognizing her as the rude girl from Macau. When her bag accidentally cuts his hand, she hands him money for a band-aid instead of apologizing, which angers him. Fang Yu believes money suffices over apologies, but Ming Tian calls her a mannerless freak. This comment triggers a childhood trauma for Fang Yu. A flashback reveals that her parents had treated her like a boy because they wanted a son. Only after her younger brother's birth was she allowed to express her femininity, though she faced ridicule from peers, leading to her struggles with her gender identity. Meanwhile, back at Ming Tian's home, his younger brother sleepwalks and throws punches in the air. Ming Tian finds himself in a strange situation after realizing that the rude girl he argued with earlier is his brother's MMA idol, Fang Yu. He even notices that her eyes resemble his late mother's, which contributed to his intense anger. Despite enrolling at Zhangzhi College, Ming Tian struggles to concentrate due to the overwhelming attention from the female students. The college president and Mr. Wang are thrilled that he hasn't transferred yet, but Ming Tian is considering leaving for another school, even though it offers a lower scholarship. Zhangzhi's diverse clubs are the college's pride, with students honing skills like boxing, taekwondo, and gymnastics for international showcases. While touring the clubs, Ming Tian is impressed by Fang Yu's boxing prowess, which reminds him of his late master. However, 
Overwhelmed by girls fighting for him to join their clubs, he chooses the almost empty swimming club. To his dismay, the pool has been turned into an ecological pond, pushing him further toward transferring out of Zhangzhi. Ming Tian voices his concerns to Mr. Wang, who desperately tries to convince him to stay at Zhangzhi College. Mr. Wang even takes a picture of Ming Tian to place its silhouette on the door of the new men's bathroom. Despite the gesture, Ming Tian remains determined to transfer out. Mr. Wang explains the simple transfer process and directs Ming Tian to submit a form in the college's filing box. However, when Ming Tian attempts to post the form, he is stopped by a group of women, first graduates of the college, tasked with preventing him from leaving. They easily overpower him and return him to Mr. Wang's office. In a final attempt to keep Ming Tian, Mr. Wang offers an extended student loan with zero interest for 30 years, effectively making his education free. Ming Tian, facing financial struggles, is tempted but still struggles with being the only male student among hundreds of girls. Later, Ming Tian accidentally enters the women's bathroom and encounters a naked Fang Yu, who kicks him. As they argue, Xiaomi barges in and mistakenly thinks something inappropriate is happening. After clearing up the misunderstanding, Ming Tian walks away, still torn about his decision. At an ice cream parlor, Xiaomi, Fang Yu, and their Taekwondo rival argue over the last scoop of strawberry flavor. Meanwhile, Ming Tian, on his delivery route, sees a bully dragging a kid across the street. He intervenes, but ends up being captured by the bullies and taken to a field where they threaten him. The girls arrive and attempt to resolve the situation peacefully, but when the bullies become aggressive, a fight breaks out. After a fierce struggle, Ming Tian and the girls manage to drive the bullies away. Grateful for their help, Ming Tian befriends the girls, and college life starts to feel more bearable. Encouraged by this new friendship, he decides to withdraw his transfer request and stay at Jiangji College. The next day, Ming Tian accepts Mr. Wang's offer, much to the teacher's joy. With newfound friends and support, Ming Tian looks forward to a smoother college experience. I thought I was doing